Hello everyone and welcome back to Silver Run Forest. This is still the multiplayer co-op with Nordic Farming and we've reached episode number four. We're starting off where we finished off last time at the Iron Furnace and yeah we've been busy making metal overnight. If we take a look at the productions we've got 53,000 litres of iron ore and that's processed into well it's saying 12 litres but we actually have quite a few pallets. I can't remember where they spawn. I think they're somewhere around the back. There they are. Look at that. Fantastic. So Nordic and I are going to come back and get that later. First things first, we are jumping in the truck because we've got to go and shift some of our wood to the roller coaster. So we've got plenty of wood planks, planks long and wooden beams made at the old sawmill. So Nordic and I are going to go get a pallet trailer first thing and pick up the various bits and take it to the roller coaster. We've also got some planks to take to the wood turner and to the floor factory so we can make the other bits that we need for the roller coaster as well. But let's head off to the store first of all and get the pallet trailer. There we go, Nordic and I have leased the pallet trailer so we're picking that up from the stop. There we go. And we're going to head over to the sawmill and grab the wood products that we need for the coaster, which is just behind us to the left. Fantastic. Up the way, pesky cars. So we are loading up the first of our planks. The shorter planks and we need a fair amount of those to take to the roller coaster i think it's a fair few thousand liters That didn't go so well. <laughs> We're nearing the roller coaster and we've got 24,000 litres of planks. But we don't need to drop all of them off at the roller coaster. In fact, I think it only is going to take a small sum. So let's just hop out briefly. Aha, yes, so planks 4,000 and 31 litres it needs so it is unloading there which is really really good and oh I think it can store a lot more so we might want to stop unloading because we've got some to take to the wood turner and the floor factory so it turns out we got paid for dropping all of these planks off at the roller coaster which I wasn't expecting and there's full storage. So yeah, we made another 23,000 plus around 44,000 on the previous deposit. The rest of the planks we're going to take to the wood turner and to the flooring factory because we need to make the other parts of the roller coaster, which are floor tiles and staircase rolling, which are provided by those factories. And turns out we drive past the flooring factory on our way back to the old sawmill. We've got some pedestrians in the way that Nordic is hooting at. Yeah, if we unload here, we should be able to start the production of the flooring factory. So here we go. We've got planks. So we can activate this. And that is going to turn 140 planks into 180 wood tiles. Sorry, floor tiles. And we only need a small amount for the roller coaster at this stage. But we've got plenty more planks that we need for at the moment. Right, onward back to the sawmill, so we can get some more planks to the wood turner. Next load of planks going in, and quite interestingly, it loads them into boxes on this auto loader. Fantastic. All closed up, 6,000 litres, so we'll get that to the wood turner. And hopefully we can kick off the staircase railing production to get that over to the roller coaster as well. Okay, so we've made it to the wood turner. We can get unloaded 6,000 litres of planks. And I'll hop on the old 
production screen whilst Nordic is unloading. So it turns out we need planks long for the wood turner. So we're just going to take the shorter planks over to the floor factory to make more floor tiles. There we go. That's unloading some more planks to the flooring factory. Oh, first time I've seen a car come out there. So this is the planks long and we want to pick these up. So Nordic is going to try and auto load these. There we go. That's all loaded up quite nicely. Get that lash down and we can head in and get over to the wood turner to get this turned and converted into staircase railings. So we're at the roller coaster first of all to drop off some wood planks. We've dropped off quite a few uh, litres. There we go. So there we go, we've got just shy of 12,000 planks long at the roller coaster and we made quite a bit of money again and that's more than enough to see us through the first stage of the roller coaster. Alright, at the wood turner again and this time we can certainly create the staircase railings. So we've got the planks long being loaded in here and we want to make staircase railings. We need 70 long planks to make 220 staircase railings. So we'll activate that and that's working. Right, Nordic's done enough driving for this morning so we are going to hop in the truck and we are going to go get the other materials. So there's wood beams that are at the sawmill so we will go and collect those and then we'll take them to the roller coaster and after that we've got to go and pick up some metal I'm making a right hash of this because there's lots of vehicles getting in my way thanks very much cars fantastic so back to the sawmill fast approaching the sawmill so we'll turn in here once more and get the wood beams loaded on I think we need to go around to the other side to get this loaded up perfect that's all squared away so let's hop in lash lash up close the curtain and we can get underway back to the roller coaster because we want to get this all unloaded and I don't think we need to take uh, these beams anywhere else so if we've got any spare we'll probably sell them but we're going to get a good amount of money from depositing them at the roller coaster which is a nice and welcome surprise because I was not expecting a payday from taking all these materials to the roller coaster. So I think this is the first time I've been looking in the cab of the Volvo and it's got the uh, nice old button style and everything like that and got our passenger Nordic over there. Better keep my eyes on the road Nordic. You know what my driving is like, especially near bridges and cliffs. Right, we made it to the roller coaster and we're going to see how many planks, or wood beams rather, we can drop off, hopefully all of them. Fantastic. It took all of them and we made another cool 102,000. So, so far we have got the wood beams we need, the planks we need and the planks long we need. We've taken wood to the floor factory to make floor tiles so we should be able to get that ready maybe by the end of today or if not next session and same for the staircase rolling we've taken that to the wood turner and we should have enough to bring to the roller coaster next yep it's over to the iron furnace next because we've got some metal ready from the iron furnace to bring to the roller coaster so I think we've got our trusty friend Nordic with us here we go you see him sat there so let's go on down the road to the iron furnace grab some metal. Right, the iron furnace is a left turn here. Just got to wait for the old pesky traffic. There we go. And quite nicely placed this iron furnace. It's just down the road from the roller coaster. But yeah we should be able to pull up. Uh, we'll go around the back actually cutting across the road and we'll see about loading up some of our metal which yeah looks to be like rings of metal that are on pallets here which uh, looks pretty funky so let's get the old curtain open should be able to hopefully load these up 
So that's the metal loaded and lashed. Let's get the curtain closed and we can head on to the roller coaster. Though I think it's going to take all 7,000 litres, but we'll see because it does sell for a very good price, metal. So, yeah, if we don't manage to deposit it all, we will take it to the next best sell price. Right, pulling up at the roller coaster once more and we'll see how much metal it will take. We'll try and load it up. Okay, so I think it took around 3,000 litres, $35,000. That's pretty good. So we've got to take the leftover metal somewhere else, and I think we can take it to the train station to rent a train and drop this 3,000 litres off at Elm Creek, which is the best sell price by quite a margin. So yeah, we want to sell it for the best price that we can. Right, so Nordic's hopped off to just follow the train and we are going to spin around and then we can get the metal loaded onto the train and get it sold at Elm Creek, which would be good. Gosh, doing a massive reverse. Here it comes. Right, Nordic is now the train driver, so we can get this metal loaded up. That's the metal all loaded, and Nordic is driving off to Elm Creek to go drop the metal off. In the meantime, we'll go return the pallet trailer, and we can then get set up for what's planned this afternoon. We're going to be doing yet more logging and yarding in our fantastic lodge area, and we're going to need the Schwarzmuller container trailer once again, so we will lease that, although we could probably buy that now that we've got $284,000 from getting all those materials over to the roller coaster. That is pretty good going, if you ask me. Alright, that's the autoload pallet returned, but we'll probably purchase that again when we need it next. So, we're getting the Schwarzmuller, and because it's only 55000 I think we are going to purchase it this time. But I'm going to change the colour to match our truck much better, so we'll go for a Onyx black, I think, and get a grey rim colour. And containers, I don't think I showed this so much last time, but you can buy containers from this store as well. And they range in size from 12 metres to 9 metres down to 6 metres. And we dabbled with 12 and 9 last time, and 9 metres seem to be the best for the yarder that we've got, and also the forestry machine. I think again we'll go for Onyx black. So after our last session, Game Rampage commented on my video and said that we can extend this trailer fit for the 12 meter container. So yeah, it does extend out quite nicely like that, which I didn't realize. So thanks very much for the tip. But let's get this compacted again because we've only got the nine meter container and we'll get that loaded up. There we go, that's loaded. So let's get the old beacons on and we'll drive up to the hill. Nordic is busy setting up the yarder, ready for us to do some more logging. Right, we've got quite a few logs to load down here, first of all. So I think we'll bring the container down here. There's some 12 meter chaps that we are going to have to load. I'll cut in half as well. Open sesame. And we will use the chainsaw for the first time, just to cut these down to size. There we go, we've made a nice little pile of 9 metre or thereabout logs. So let's go grab the log grab and get that loaded into the container. And there's a bit more tidying up to do further down the track. Here I come with the log loader. So yeah, Nordic and I are going to get busy set into the next phase of logging. I'm going to be doing some loading initially, and then we'll swap places and move on to cutting and yarding. So I'm going to crack on, and I'll see you when we've made some good progress.
Right, so that is a few different jobs tackled. We were loading quite a lot of logs into containers. We took one container to the store, bought another one and brought it back. And then we did a little bit of wood cutting, some tree cutting, and then we did some yarding, which is always really good fun. So we've got a nice pile of logs here accumulating and uh, another container, oh, this time in red, which uh, we will have to load up next time. And I think Nordic did also load up a container and sell it. So we've got quite a lot of money in the bank, $466,000. But next, it's turning the attention back to the roller coaster. And I think we've now got our other productions to take there. So we should be phase one complete. Okay, so we are in the Volvo. We will unhitch the container trailer here with the container. And we'll go and grab the low loaders that we've got, the Fleagles, to cart the floor tiles and the staircase railings to the roller coaster. So let's go grab one of those low loaders and then we can go and get the goods from the floor factory and the wood turners. This low loader, there we go, hitched up. So I think the wood turners is down here somewhere, so let's go find it. Right, so the wood turner is here, and aha, here we go, we've got one pallet of, I think, staircase railings, this will be. There we go, that's loaded on nicely, thank you Nordic, and yeah, we can see staircase railings, 1,000 litres of them, or 1,000 pieces, which is probably 1,000 litres, fantastic. Right, let's hop in the truck and get to the floor factory, so we can grab the floor tiles. Right, here we go, Oh. I think I've just driven past a pallet. Let's flip round. Hopefully not run over any pedestrians. Out the way, pedestrians. And yeah, the smoke has been churning out of this place, making our floor tiles. So let's get this loaded up. Fantastic. So here we go. Another thousand litre or thousand pieces of floor tiles. Fantastic. Hope this is going to be enough. Right, so pulling in here. And we will unload. So taking a look, we've got enough floor tiles, but we haven't got enough staircase railings. We need another thousand and a bit litres. So we're going to skip ahead a bit of time and bring back some more staircase railing. So we've had to wait till midnight for some more stair railings, but we now have the two pallets we need to top up the maximum amount. So yeah, we should have now enough materials for the first phase of the roller coaster getting built. We'll get this dropped off and see how the roller coaster get on. It does build slowly. You can see it consume the materials. Uh, it depletes them as it's working through. So that'll be quite fun to see. And I think it's actually looking quite a bit taller since I saw it last. That'll be uh, quite interesting to see. Right, there we go, that's dropped off, and another six grand in earnings. So Nordic and I are going to wait out till morning and see how we get on. So we waited overnight, and the roller coaster has built a few stages you would have seen. I don't know if it's completely finished, the first stage. Required materials next step. It has uh, depleted somewhat, but it is processing. But yeah, we are into the next morning now. Nordic and I were excited and stayed up all night to watch it being built. But it will continue to being built. We're now in December, so we might skip ahead a couple of months to get it past the first phase. And you'll be able to see that in the next episode. But that is it for today. I hope you have enjoyed watching. If you have, remember to drop a like. And if you've got any tips, tricks or things you'd like Nordic and I to do, then feel free to leave a comment. Please check out Nordic's channel for his perspective of today's session. And all there's left to say is, hope to see you again next time. And until then, we will catch you later. Cheers all. Bye bye.